Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Tops Series 2 Baseball Jumbo Edition and it's a dual case break. It's a double header right here. So two six box breaks and with a giveaway. Look at this. I've got Nick on the Nick cam right here. He's going to start ripping open some boxes. So at the end of the break, we're going to re-randomize your names and the name on top is going to get this five out of five Aaron Judge autograph with that piece of the baseball that's awesome from the all-star game too so it's an all-star game baseball what do you think that, what's the value on this did we say in the description put a value on it i didn't see any soul huh all right so well it's gonna be nice though big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action whether you bought spots straight up or whether you won spots i appreciate it thank you very much for getting in all baseball teams are in let's roll it let's randomize it two and a five six times for each two and a five, seven times for each list. Six boxes in each case. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then final time. Two and a five, seven times, seven times right there. We got Allen down to Travis. And then we'll paste that right there. And then two and a five, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Nats down to the Cleveland Indians. So trades are allowed. We'll leave the video running while Nick's ripping boxes. So there's no weird pause in there, but we'll allow uh, maybe 30, 40 seconds for trades. Allen with the Nats, Zach with the Twins, Brian with my Dodgers, Sean with the Astros, Wes with the Red Sox, John with the Rays, Michael with the uh, Tigers, TJ Poyer with the Blue Jays, Jason with the Phillies, Wes with the O's, David Larson with the Reds, TJ Poyer with the Mets, John with the Padres, Wes with the Giants, Gabe with the Royals, George with the Cardinals, Wes with the Yankees, Jason with the Angels, Tony with the Mariners, Angels and Mariners are playing each other right here, right next to each other, Craig with the Brewers, Jason with the Braves, Michael with the A's, Scott with the Rockies, George with the Diamondbacks and the Rangers, Jay with the White Sox, nice, Jason with the Pirates, Sean with the Cubs, Marlins for Cohen, and Travis Melberg with the Indians. Let's put all that on one page. Let's sort that by column B, by team. All right. The only team that matters, to be honest, is the White Sox is Jet. Not true. Think about all the other rookies on in this in these sets. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, right here. Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays. All sorts of other Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. You can buy low on Aristides Aquino's right Aquino right now with the Reds. Nico Horner for the Chicago Cubs. All sorts of all sorts of great players. So false statement. Oh, who else is in uh, Series 2? Are those guys not in Series 2? Either way, it's not, it's not the only. White Sox are an important team for sure. Not the most, not the only team though. You can still get some, uh, get some hits out of the other teams. Can we still pull golden tickets out of here? Yeah. 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 You get you, you get a, you get a one of one of anything. Would be great. A ton of autographs in here. Come on. Tons of stuff in here. Tons of stuff. Domingo Leyva is in here. We got Akiyama for the Reds. That's the guy that replaced uh, Aquino. Some of the other other rookies in here. Yeah, Luis Roberts, a big one. We got TJ Zuke for the Blue Jays. Brendan Rogers is still in here? It's been like a prospect for years, hasn't he? Bruce Star Greaterall as a Dodger. He's been pitching well. Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays. Randy Dobnek has been making I think he made a start today. Dobnek. Who knows? Any of these rookies could emerge, turn into something big. 
Logan Webb's been making some starts. Sheldon Newsy's in the mix. What are the cards that say cup next to it? Jonathan Daza is in here. Anyone trade? No one's trading, right? There you go. So there's there's lots of stuff in there. Tons of short prints, tons of base cards, some great autographs in here. So the autograph list is pretty awesome too. Don't forget the silver packs. So I will I will respectfully disagree with your comment, Jet. All right, TWC trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Those are the silver packs from the bottom. Right? With the home run challenge. Silver packs are the home run challenge cards? Then, yeah. The A-Rod right here to, to the home run challenge. <clears throat> That's half a box also. Silver packs. Other half of the box, right here, box one of 12. Good luck, everybody. All right, that's Kyle Garlic. Mmm, garlic. I don't know what where the variations land or anything like that, but we'll find them, I guess. Are there codes on the back you can look at? And a Christian Yelich autograph. Wow. <laughs> you were saying, Jet? There you go. This card matters to Craig McGinnis. Eight out of fifty. After after that, the, the silver red. ones, right? Yeah. After, after the these ones. So that red, this is one. I think Check that's kind of awesome. Check the back. <laughs> Forty-two out of fifty. Yeah. So it's after the auto spot. Yeah, but there's not gonna be an auto in every pack, so it, sometimes it will be after that foil. After that foil spot, okay. Didn't you guys do like a million of these? No, nah, series one. Oh, that was series one. Same thing, though. You did Series 2. I think. Just blanking on Series 2. Totally. Put it out of your head. Yeah. That one degree really makes a difference. <laughs> Alright, so variations after the foil spot. Let's keep an eye out for those. There's a foil. There is player of the day. I guess there are going to be inserts, right? Inserts or a variation. So obviously all these inserts will ship. Rookie cards will ship. Okay, I remember now. It's all coming back to me, Nick. It's all coming back to me. And I'm looking for Luis Robert running, right? After a foil spot? Any Luis Robert, but yeah. Any Luis Robert, but... Him specifically running the bases is like the, the big variation that goes for a million dollars. Ozzy Albies. There's a couple of them. There's one that goes for like three, four hundred and one nine hundred. That's for the Braves. And that's gonna go to just uh, Jason. No, I, I, have, I have not opened a Series 2 box in a million years, Jet. Probably since new release week. These Speckle cards are pretty cool, too. Oh, these are the cup cards. I get it. These 
old school designs right here too. What do you, do you need something? You acting the awfully nosy over that. Me? No, Sean's or no. Does Sean, does Sean, Sean wants to do this? Is that what I heard? Baseball, you want to go find variations that I missed in here? Um, is this uh, is this series one? It's series two. It's yeah. after all. I think I've been catching them. They're after all. They're after all the foil cards. Aren't they flipped around? Sean's shipping. Today. No, they're not. They're not flipped Ship around. Day. That's. Shipping's done. Oh, it is. Yeah, we're done with our last one. Just too efficient. Oh, Wait, I thought the series two was flipped around on the variation. Spencer. Yeah, I mean they're not in every pack. I think it's after every foil card that's either going to be an auto or an insert. They're, u they're usually inserts. Like that, that right there should sleep. He's, this? A, he's a sleep guy, in my opinion. I know, but I think, I think he's a sleep guy. He's a sleepable guy? He's a sleever? Is he a sleever or is he su su Susugo? I know Susugo on the races, but I don't know if he's in this. Blue thing. Jays with, for TJ Poyer. Nick Jass behind this guy. Oh, Susuga? Akiyama. Akiyama's on the Reds? He's in this set, too. Come on, Sean. Do they all look alike to you? I have won. I never said that. That's what I heard. They're, this one's flipped around. There's William McCovey. Wow. And the vet comments are donated. In case you were wondering about the vet comments, they are donated. We sell them, we donate them. Donate the money to... Sometimes we donate the cards. Children. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we do donate the cards. Um... Children's Hospital of LA, we've donated to. Boys and Girls Club. Um, LA's Best. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, I, I stream, uh, I stream uh, five nights a week. So more, more often than not, you're gonna be seeing me. Nothing to get too excited about. There's Luis Robert, White Sox, Jay. I think maybe, Akiyama maybe. I haven't seen him yet. I love this. What is this? The the Bomba Brothers? They just brought like an old World War II bomb out there. What's on that? I don't know what what's. Left with their home run title trophy? That's kind of kind of like that. All right, that Brian Goodwin to two, to uh, twenty twenty for the Angels for Jason. Matt Beatty. All those foils will ship, of course. It's just vet commons that won't. All these fun little inserts will ship. And that manufactured logo patch, which I think are really cool. Which you're going to see unveiled in just a second. There it is. Whit Merrifield. Three out of ten. Fancy Royals 50th anniversary patch. Gabe with the Royals. It's pretty cool. Nice. And another Luis Robert batting. That's think that's the most common one. Once again, that's Jay Tinney with the White Sox. And a Luis Robert foil. And a Luis Robert insert. What's going on here? Wow. So the insert, what are these called? I don't even know what these are called. The foil's nice. I don't know how much the insert will be worth. 
looks like a fingerprint in there. Looks like a thumbprint. I don't know, something fancy. But the foil Luis Robert, that's another level up right there too for Jay Tinney and the White Sox. There you go, Jay. This guy is not only has been hyped, but I feel like has been delivering as well. Show me Luis Robert stats. Hey Siri, show me Luis Robert stats. I'm sure everyone's iPhones just clicked on. Sorry. Luis Robert is one for two today. He's batting 370 so far this season. Not too shabby. Silverbacks. Yeah, that uh, oil is probably 150, 200. A one of one. Joe Morgan, Super Fractor. I guess the Reds matter too. David Larson, Cincinnati Reds. Jet was saying only the uh, only the White Sox matters. Not if you get a one of one. David Larson. Super. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. I have to take a picture of that a little bit later. And all those silvers, of course, will ship too. So I th I'm assuming these are just boxes right there. One box, two stacks, one box. Is that you? Nice, Dave. Congrats. There's some there's some nice uh, nice surprises that can pop out of this uh, out of out of any product really, but base heavy stuff like this could be really interesting. All right, Jay saying nice. I think you might be lagging behind just a tiny bit, Jay, but maybe about four or five minutes. But yeah, congrats on those Luis Roberts. Hopefully there'll be some more. And we got a nice Lucas Giolito draft medallion card. Lucas Giolito for a long time, number one baseball prospect with the Nationals. Just didn't quite, the injuries got in the way, and it was just, I don't know, maybe maybe psychologically. It's another one for Jay. Uh, so maybe that just got in his head a little bit, but he's not pitching anymore this season. But that trade to the White Sox, something just kind of clicked, and now he's looking pretty incredible. Those are the silver pack cards. Um, what are you doing when doing breaks? You ship every car from that team or just the good ones? We, we do not ship veteran commons. Everything else ships. Rookie cards, inserts. We'll ship. That'll ship. But that's a vet common. That won't ship. That won't ship. That won't ship. That won't ship. And Steve Carlton, of course, will ship. Nice. 1970s Decades Best Award winners, Steve Carlton. Jason with the Phillies. 
16 out of 25. Inserts like this, of course, will ship. That's an insert. That'll ship. And all RCs, all rookie cards will ship. Just veteran commons won't ship. Yeah. Nice Warriors of the Diamond, Wade Boggs. Good picture of him. Corey, yeah, that trout was pretty cool, right? The Veteran Commons, we... Uh, the Veteran Commons, we sell and ship, or and sell, sometimes we ship the cards and donate them. Sometimes we sell them and we put the proceeds to an after-school program, Children's Hospital of LA, Boys and Girls Club of America, we donate to various charities and stuff. That's where all the proceeds go. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Relic. Royal, uh, Royals. Blue Jays. I just saw blue and I was like... Uh, that goes to TJ Poyer. And Will Clark. Oh, I thought that was going to be... That will ship, but... I saw the blue border. I thought it was going to be something a little different. No worries, Jay. That foil one was pretty awesome. Good that you're giving back to the community and not keeping the money to buy more cards. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the veteran commons are gonna. It's not like we're getting rich off veteran common cards. All right, Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Wes Thomas. Another Luis Robert. And it's worth hanging on to. Any, If any of you get lucky enough to get some rookie cards out of here, you know, it's worth hanging on to a lot of these players. I know that, you know, there's Shogo Akiyama. I know that Luis Robert definitely has the most attention right now, but all it takes is, like, look what happened to Aquino last year. All, all it takes is, is that. But... Ryan says, let's say you get a dollar a card. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get a dollar a card out of these. A thousand base cards, that's a thousand dollars. Times that by 365, you get $365,000. I mean, yeah, I guess. You know how much time it takes to do that? Now go find me a buyer. No, those veteran comps are not going to be our savior. Find find me a buyer who's going to buy a dollar dollar base card, and then pick them up, and then take those on, take those off our hands in a big truck. And do all that. Take the time to do that, and see how much value there is actually going to be. There's not. Yeah, then, the, then that's someone's time sorting it all out. It's out of 75, Giancarlo Stanton, Yankees. Yeah, Ryan, I appreciate it, but I think you're overestimating <laughs> the, the value of these veteran commons, underestimating the time it takes to actually do that. 
underestimating how finding buyers that'll buy it at a dollar a base card and just fork that money over right then and there. And, uh, and underestimating or an overestimating how much of an impact base cards would make to uh, Jaspies. Astros Relic going to Sean. Luis Roberts speckle background. Yes, Jet, for the third time, we would we don't donate the money to charity from the proceeds from veteran common sales. Sometimes we uh, donate the cards to. We've had some teachers reach out to us. And sometimes we donate it to them, and they use it for whatever class purposes they have. And Luis Robert, the old uh, 1980-something design, 85 maybe? I've got a big chart up here of all Pops cards. I think it's 85. Mid-80s design. Another one for Jay and the White Sox. game for the Lakers. They're down 103 to 86. I guess just took their foot off the gas. Knowing that they've got the one seed wrapped up. What about Dodgers Padres? How about that? We can get some baseball in this baseball break. There you go. First inning. We got Justin Turner at second. Cody Bellinger up to bat. Cody Bellinger's been struggling. I should watch the Pens game. But I have no interest in the Penguins, though. I've got interest in, in my Dodgers, though. There's J.D. Martinez, Red Sox, Wes Thomas.
safe driver save 40%. It's in my head now. Good call. Oh, Adbert Alzale, nice. Rookie auto for the Cubs. Sean with the Cubbies. That's a nice autograph, nice rookie auto here. 193 out of 199. Those foils, of course, will ship. Got a Hunter Harvey variation. That'll be for the O's. Wes Thomas. And here come the silver cards right here. Got to 150. Rizzo. And some fun inserts right there, too, Bruce Suter. All right. That's out of 150. That'll be for the Cubs. Sean with the Cubbies. Once again. All right. Another couple stacks, which should represent another box right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we've got one more case coming up in this double header. Oh, and a Randy Adazarena autograph for Tampa Bay. That'll be for John McCall, John on the board. Rays are down five nothing. Red Sox are up five nothing on the on the Rays bottom of the eighth. I was stunned that the Dodgers locked up Mookie Betts. I thought Mookie Betts would at least try free agency. I thought the Dodgers always had a good shot at re-signing Mookie Betts, but I was surprised they got it done before the season. But I'm happy. I'm glad. We got Mike Trout. Average distance, 233 feet. Significant stats, game used material, 88 out of 99. Nice. Each of his hits averaged 233 feet. That's a, I feel like that's a lot. Angels, that'll be for Jason with the Angels.
we got Marcus Simeon variation. Good base running by Tatis. I know I've been missing some of these, but these are numbered to 2020. These will, these will all ship, of course, the bronze on the side. Another Luis Robert. There you go. Nice. I like the Padres uniforms this year. Back to the old chocolate and mustard uniforms. Some nice, uh, nice pinstripes in there too. Glad they, glad they brought it back to that old school, old school design. Looks nice. Another variation? Nice. Bruce Dar Graterall. Dodgers reliever. And what a What velocity from him. Just easy hundred miles. It doesn't even look like he's trying. And he's throwing he's throwing throwing hundred mile per hour pitches, over hundred mile per hour pitches out of there. It's pretty crazy. Just got my Dodgers. That'll be for Brian Crouch. I don't know what his ceiling is gonna be for the Dodgers. He might have to work on a secondary pitch, or maybe a third pitch, or something like that. So he's he, but I mean he's still super young. I think he only just came up with the M's last year. There's Josh Donaldson speaking of the Twins. Zach Teal with that. So if he. Uh, He develops like another pitch or two. I could see I could see him maybe a few years down the line. Maybe he becomes like a Kenley Jansen replacement. Kenley Jansen not getting any younger. And a Justin Dunn autograph out of the silver packs. M's. Tony Barkey. One oh two out of one ninety nine. Nice. All right. Next two stacks should represent the next box right here. Kevin Crouch saw a card number 420 is a Mookie Betts super, super, super short, super, super short print. SSSP. I have no, I have no idea what those, what those run to. Whenever they say short print, you know, it's like a, it's like a nebulous, it's a nebulous sort of number. Or 
Roberto Alomar. Jason just hit a one on Mike Trout, Patch Auto, and Luminaries. Wow. That's 80 out of 99. This Cole Tucker has more of a matte feel to it, just FYI. Different variation there. That'll be for the Pirates, Jason Wainer with the Buckos. And that Luminaries is strong. Yeah. I saw it. That was really loud. Sorry, headphones. There's a question mark on, on the checklist. There's a Mookie Betts super, super, super short print with a question mark behind it. Yeah, those print runs are really, uh, really nebulous. That's a good shot of Daryl Strawberry right there. Variation for the Metropolitan, CJ Poyer. A question mark after it, so that's it's even more mysterious. I feel like there's like some Nicolas Cage national treasuring that we have to do. Shed long to 69, nice. That'll be for the M's, that'll be for Tony and the Mar uh, Mariners. Nick, you want to see something not safe for work? Oh, I saw the Dustin May pitches. Oh, okay. You saw those? Yeah, I, I figured you were going with those. Up. They, they look like video game pitches. That's uh, stupid. Yeah. I don't know where it is. He's posting a bunch of other stuff now. But yeah. That was crazy. There's like... It was like 99. Like, it's like if that's the strike zone... And Machado sitting right here. This pitch like starts probably right here and ends up right there. Yeah, but it's like a 99 mile per hour like two seam sinker. <laughs> like what's and then he has a cutter that goes that way. So it'll be like whoosh, <laughs> and it'll run in on lefties. That's a that's a bad. Do you have any statement on the uh, Angels win yesterday after you said that they were going to collapse, but then they won the game? Do you have a statement? <laughs> Are you putting me on the spot? Yeah. My statement is that the Angels hang on, hung on for a good W. And the bullpen. Pitching. Good W. Good job. Good job. Every, every dog has their day. Thank you. Even, even just dirty, dirty, filthy, mangy dogs. Ryan Zimmerman. Thank you. <laughs> the Nationals. They were favored. They better win. Nationals, Alan Murdoch with the Zimmerman patch right there. Opted out. For his health, that's fine. And another Luis Robert Speckle. Ooh, slamming Sandy. Ooh, that trout, though. That's crazy. That inscription, too. That Luminaries is... That Luminaries is hot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. I was like, that sounds so nice. I had a little skin strap in it. His autograph's freaking crazy. Yeah, I love his auto. Another Luis Robert right here. We've, all those add up. All of these add up. Jay Tinney, who got randomized the White Sox. He won that spot too, ladies and gentlemen. So some guys have all the luck. Oh, and uh, Michael Baez on card autograph for the Padres. They're playing right now. Michael Baez did not make the start. I think it's Garrett Richards making the start. Who actually has been looking okay. At least in his first start. Out of 199 on that one. Friars. That goes to John McCall.
Ren Nemo. There's Trout. New Dad. And a red border. What is that number two? Ten, maybe? Five? Five. You say five? I don't know. Sometimes they trick you. Twenty-five and five. And it's going to be Kyle Schwarber. Nine. Out of 25. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are orange. That doesn't... I said 25, though. You did mention 25. Why would they put red as a 25? That, that trips me out. Nice hit, though. Look at that. It's a great patch in there. Probably a piece of the, the bear and the letter and the C. Looks like a little gray, so maybe the away, the away jersey. Cubs, Sean, with the Cubbies. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Jock Peterson, Dinger. Two run, bop. Dodgers up 2 0. Mm. Yeah. Pearson almost got traded to the uh, almost got traded to the to the Angels. I like Jock Pearson. I'm glad that didn't happen. All right, we've got some silver pack cards. We got a Kettle Marte, 29 out of 50. What an excellent season from last year. Right, nice. Diamondbacks, George Cobb, last spot mojo with that one. Another two boxes right here. Silver packs on top. Left column. Jay Tinney saying, Jay, I think you're lagging behind a little bit. Can you catch? I don't know. I'm not sure what you're reacting to. I don't know how to react to your reactions. Everyone double check to make sure. I mean, if you're lagging, you might not catch us for a few minutes, but double check to make sure that you are watching live. Oh, Jay saying that patch deserves a five. Yeah, you're a few minutes behind, Jay. Everyone catch up. Make sure that whether you're watching on a mobile device or on a web browser, make sure that red dot is not gray. Make sure it's live. Make sure it's red for live. And we could be at the current point of the, uh, the stream there. And we've got Chris Paddock. He's a pretty good pitcher too. Chris Paddock for the Friars. That's gonna be for John McCall. Another Luis Robert for Jay.
Oh, and a variation? Yes. Oh, this is one of my favorite favorite photos of Series 2. Andrew McCutcheon with so much swag right there. Look at that. Check, Jay Tinney, I see you. Look at that. He's got, I don't know what's going on. He's got maybe some, a cup of coffee maybe before the pregame coffee. He's got the shirt on. He's got that show chain. That's a good That's a good show chain right here. Some show shades. Some good show shades. It's looking good right there, folks. Nice variation for the Phillies. Jason with the fighting Phils. Underestimated how many uh, cards came out of Series Two. I only got myself one monster box. And we got a draft relic, 2013, drafted 124th. Cody Bellinger. He turned out to be okay. Some good value out of that 124th spot. Is it still gray? As long as you're. Sometimes it might be gray, but still close. As long as it's close, it should be all right. Another Luis Robert. Think you're okay, Jay? Yeah, Jay, you just said okay in the chat. Hopefully, even if it's gray, as long as we're, we're close, it's okay. Before you were like, Minutes behind. All right, so let's save those silvers right over here. Let's blow through these. I think we're almost done with the first case, ladies and gentlemen. This was the last box of the first case. And then we just have one more to go, and then we're done. And then we're going to give away that Aaron Judge, which should be really nice. Maybe we can find. So we already. This has been a great break, actually. We already had that one of one. We kicked off with the Christian Yelich autograph. We had the, we had the Joe Morgan Super Fractor. All right? A lot of Luis Roberts, ton of other variations for other players. We got that McCutcheon variation with the show chain and everything. I like that. So, and we've got a Yu Chang rookie autograph. I think he's pretty solid too for the tribe. Travis Melbourne, Indians. felt a plate back there for a second the cool cool metal of a plate but I think I tricked myself psyched myself out silver packs silver packs Nothing earth shattering in the silver packs. It's all right. Okay. Here's a box with silver packs. There's another box with silver packs. 
And here's another box with silver packs. So there's three right there, and there's one, two, three right over here. So we're already into our second case. I know, Christmas in August, a little early. But you know, they do start, they do, thank you so much. I underestimated how many cards, cards are in here. I don't need a lid, that's fine. All right. You know, they do start Christmas stuff earlier and earlier every year. One of these days, it's just going to be... It's just going to be Christmas sales all year long. Rex saying, what up, Rex? There's Rod Carew variation. Marlins get COVID, come back, and are about to win their third game in two days. Phillies beat the Yankees. Phillies didn't have any COVID, though, did they? Uh, that is a Twins edition of Rod Crew. That's going to go to Zach T. We've got a Jersey Auto coming up. See right there? And it is... Lance McCullers Jr., 18 out of 50, Jersey and Auto. I think he made a start today. That goes to Sean, W, and the Strohs. Ross Stripling doing throwing 95. Wilson Contreras for your uh, for your Cubs. Cubs having a good good start to the season. 181 out of 199. That will be for Sean W. and the Cubbies. Patrick Starr says Lance McCullers Jr. is starting right now. There you go. So once again, that goes to Sean and the Strohs. And that game just started. Astros up early, 3-0 on the Diamondbacks in the top of the second in Arizona. Nolan Arenado, draft, 20, 2009, that is, 59th overall. That's for the Rocks. That'll be for Scott. Another Luis Roberts, Speckle. The Star of India in San Diego?
Is this Tops Now card? Gonna go for like 10 bucks? Maybe. Probably. Luis Robert, Jay Tinney, and the White Sox. That's the 69. Oh, I just felt different on the back. It was because of that. We'll go to the Braves. We already saw those. All right, Dobnek to 69. Nice. I think he just made a start today, yesterday, recently. Another Luis Robert. What do these base Luis Roberts go for? Yeah, like 30, 40 bucks? Man. What about this uh what about this tops now? Luis Robert. I don't know that. Maybe million dollars $5. now. <laughs> still still crazy. Yeah. For what what essentially is an advertisement inside the product. They numbered it though. Oh, they, they did. They give it a BTN9. Oh, Maybe. I think meant serial number. I thought Max Muncy went to Baylor. Maybe that's someone else. All right, Silver Packs. I saw some gold in there. Of course, obviously, all of these silver pack cards will ship. 26 out of 50, Ryan Howard. Nice. Akiyama, I think, could be a big name. They, I think they sent Aquino down because of Akiyama. It's one of the big reasons why. Let, uh, let Aquino marinate a little bit more. Work on that plate discipline. He started walking away. Oh, that's a good. That's a good pitch. Even without the box, right? Even without the box, that's a good pitch, right? Yeah, a, Garrett Richards used to be like just a stud, but like injuries just wrecked him. Griffin Canning, speaking of the Angels, Jason Fractor with the Halos. Autograph going your way. And Junior Fernandez variation for the Cardinals. That'll be for George Cobb and the Redbirds. Oh, that's 
Calvin Herrera. I thought I saw a Nick Madrigal in there. Nick Madrigal just made his debut the other day. A nice clean hit, I think. Really, really good plate discipline. That's it. That's it? Nice. Thanks, Nick. Now, I'm, I might be mistaken, but I thought I heard the announcer say that Nick Madrigal, I guess at least in the minors, there's Altuve for the Strohs for Sean, um, had an, a sub-double-digit strikeout percentage. Like his strikeout percentage was like 9% or something like that. I'm, I'm sure I must have misheard it. I feel like in this day and age, I feel like even in... In a day, in an era where there were no strikeouts, or guys didn't strike out as much, I feel like that's still low. I don't know, but apparently he's got he's got a good eye, good plate discipline. So you you add that to uh, a team that has this guy, <laughs> Yoel Moncada, Jose Abreu, Tim Anderson, so on and so forth. Ooh. They got some pretty decent pitching there, too. Another one for Jay and the White Sox. Here's a question. If the ballpark's a sound of no fan, talking to manager, catcher, talk to the pitcher during a mound visit without the opposing team hearing. <laughs> I mean, it's still far away, Rex. Can you hear someone that's 90 feet away, 100 feet away from you if they're whispering? I guess maybe from the dugout, unless you're saying from the dugout, they won't be. Yeah, I guess they'd hear you if you were yelling from the dugout or the, you know, or from the from behind the plate. But I think if it was essential to strategy, I don't think they. I think they would go to the mound, where you would whisper and be like, "Hey, you know, throw throw the throw the inside." Throw the inside heat to this guy. He can't catch up to it. Would be my guess. Like at the mound, I don't think you're going to hear anybody. I. That's a good question, Mike Tower. I don't think they socially distance on the mound. But I think they. I think the coaches that come up, they do mac. They do mask it up. And then maybe maybe the pitcher covers his mouth with the glove like they like they would do anyway. I should. That's how I'm gonna go in the. Where's my my gloves out there? Some. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the old glove, the old baseball glove, and just walk around, and that be that's gonna be my mask. Giancarlo Stanton relic, for the Yankees. That'll be for Wes Thomas. Oh, that's different. Yeah, there you go. That's the Stars and Stripes card right there. Another Luis Robert speckle. I'm not sure to get me people look at everywhere else. People are people people are not wearing Tupperware on their faces, Rex. That's crazy talk. Is that true? Is that real? I feel like I feel like people will just do that, put it on Twitter or Instagram just to try to get reactions.
can't imagine anyone would actually do that. Oh, the old people of Walmart pictures. How much of that's rigged nowadays? I feel like back in the day, when it first started, I feel like it was like real. And nowadays, I feel like how much of that's rigged now just for laughs, just for LOLs, just for that, that clout. It's still funny though. I still like the idea of people wearing people wearing Tupperware. It's funny because it's like believable because you're like, I could see that happening. <laughs> Alright, silver packs from this box. Dodgers up two nothing. Bottom of the third. Man on. Tatis Jr. up to bed. Are you serious? Yeah, it's uh, I got it right here. Andrew? Salt Gaver? Wow, what a what a lucky SOB. That's awesome. Ooh, Luis Robert from the Silver Pack. It's another one for JT. Jay Tinney just wears his Michael Myers mask. Jay, I wanted to wear the, the a Bane mask from Batman. I'd mask all the... I'd, I mean, I do mask when I'm out and about, but that would just be an excuse to use my Bane voice the entire time. And then people would just be like, this guy's lost it. He's wearing a Bane face mask, and he's just talking like Bane. He'd be like... Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You got to do it after Thanksgiving. It's got to be after Thanksgiving. You can't forget Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is so important. That's the only holiday I celebrate. That's the only holiday that Vanessa celebrates. I mean, but like, yeah. You, yeah. I, I can't believe they would just skip over Thanksgiving. Yeah, so rude. Rude. They shouldn't eat no turkey. No turkey for them. Skip right to Christmas. That's crazy talk. There needs to be at least like a month of me being able to buy like, like turkeys, and like toy turkeys and turkey de Thanksgiving decorations and cornucopias and put fake fruit inside and mini pumpkins from the from the store. There's Al Kaline uh, flipped around, so that's a variation. Nice, Tigers. That's going to be for Michael. Will they, can they have a Halloween celebration this year? And yeah, I, I, I don't think you're going to be seeing haunted houses or anything like that anytime soon. You know what's going to be big, though? Outdoor Halloween stuff, like hay rides. People love hay rides, right? It's outdoors. Even if you're sitting next to each other, you can mask up and hand sanitizer it up. You're outdoors, so good ventilation. There's Mike Trout, 28 out of 50. Jersey, Halos, Jason. Jason Fractor with that. But I don't know. Indoor Halloween celebrations, may, like haunted houses might be canceled this year. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have like those horror nights or anything like that. I don't know. Unless, I guess, maybe if you're wearing like a scary mask, would that just naturally prevent droplets from being sneezed out during the wintertime? I'm sure they'll have some, but I don't think I'll be participating in that. Hay rides, though. Corn maze? Ooh. Can't wait for a good corn maze out here. Believe it or not, folks, we do have a few spots here in the Los Angeles area with uh, some corn mazes. 
Well, yeah, what are kids going to do? Candy? Uh, maybe you would encourage kids this year. Kids will be encouraged to wear gloves as a part of their costume. And then you would just have like a bucket out there. And you would sit on the porch and you'd be like, hey, just one. Just take one. Hey, hey, hey. Just one, kid. You're just yelling at kids from your, your, your porch. <laughs> one Snickers. There's Kyle Tucker. I think trick-or-treating will still happen. I feel like you can find creative ways to do that. There's Kyle Tucker, autograph, Astros, Sean. Yeah, most kids are wearing masks anyway as a part of their costumes. Maybe you just have to glove up their filthy, filthy hands. <laughs> kids, I mean, who knows? They're they're not as affected by COVID nineteen, and they're they're just super spreaders. They're just all over the place. They they gotta glove them up. Maybe trick or treating is hand sanitizer. Just give away hand sanitizer for the kids. Put them in a bubble and trick or treat. Yeah, put them in a bubble. Yeah, just bubble boy it. There you go, Dave Roberts. If you hang it, Jock Peterson's going to bang it. Don't hang curveballs against Jock Peterson. Sean Mercer, what's going on? How are you doing, Sean? Bellinger's been struggling. Texas Rangers, we got 41 out of 50, Elvis Andrus. Back to work for Sean this week, huh? Boo. <laughs> no, that's good. So many people not working, it's always nice to... I mean, we're fortunate that we're still working in this climate. It's weird because it's kind of trippy. Some people, just their industry has just tanked. And for some other people, like, just, they're just too busy. Weird times, ladies and gentlemen. And a variation. We got an Eddie Matthews variation. We got a couple old school guys. An L. K. Line, and then now an Eddie Matthews for the uh, Milwaukee Braves. Let's go to Atlanta, Jason, with that one. Nice. Silver packs from this box. Oh, Pups and Cats in the Park, presented by Lucy Pet Foods, special fan cutout section. I got to work out. I got to work on uh, submitting pictures of the pug. It's Carter Keyboom Gold, 38 out of 50 for Allen and the Nationals. You know what's cool, ladies and gentlemen? On uh, on the radio a couple weeks ago, I was going home and uh, in between in between innings in the Dodgers game, I heard a Topps commercial talking about National Baseball Card Day, August eighth, twenty twenty, like this card says right here. I thought that was really cool. 
I was like, am I hearing a Tops ad right now? Sure enough, I was. Promoting National Baseball card. I'm sure we'll do something. Maybe from curbside, but it'll happen. Ryan says, you think Halloween will happen for some kids? It's their favorite day of the year. You can't take that away from them. I mean, yeah, but if it's COVID. Yeah, you can actually. I know. We got everything. We got Disneyland taken away from us. Yeah, we got school taken away from us. Their friends taken away from us. Yeah, until until things start settling down, Halloween could be severely limited. But I mean, they're outdoors. They're walking around. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 please think of the children argument is not going to work for Halloween. Dentists are like, yeah. Dentists are sitting there going, yeah, cancel Halloween. Ooh, maybe. Maybe they're like, oh, what about my ends? <laughs> they're like, we need Halloween. We need Halloween for cavities. Maybe dentists are behind Halloween. Follow the, follow the money, you guys. <laughs> yeah? There's Kyle Tucker, variation for the Astros. That goes to Sean. Cameron, what's going on? First time watching. Welcome. Kind of, kind of caught us in the middle of a little bit of a, a long drawn out break, but that allows us to goof around a little bit. Yeah, national is not until December, Jet. I don't think we're going to be intending that one. Maybe if we're on the East Coast, maybe we we would we would kind of pop by for the day, but. I don't think so. No, kids are not going to school just yet in California. I think they're still trying to figure that out, actually. I don't think school would start until early September anyway, but... I know colleges, I know semester system, colleges probably open late August, and I don't think that's happening. I think that's been postponed, at least for the first fall semester. They're going to they're gonna keep kids... Uh, doing virtual classes for the most part. Elementary, though, I don't think is... Uh, elementary, high schools, I don't think it's going to be happening yet. So... Oh, you're in Australia, Cameron? People that live in Melbourne are not allowed to leave their home, only allowed one hour a day. Yeah... I don't know. For us Americans, we weren't about to give that up, so... <laughs> I mean, we should. That's the smart way to do it. But eh, for us, we're like, no. People don't, yeah, people don't even want to wear a mask, right? Jason Jasby's like, people don't even want to wear a mask around here. Imagine if we told them they could only leave the house an hour a day. There'd be riots. Yeah, the, the World War Three. People wouldn't be able to handle it here. For the greater good, f the greater good. I need to go outside. People will say. Uh, yellow my tube. When is the 2020 Illuminate three box seven? If that's sold out, that should happen shortly after this. I've got about another, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or so left in this break, and then I'll go through orders, and that'll probably be the next break after that. We'll add that to the schedule. Oh, that's right, that's right. Sean Mercer's a teacher. We start next week. Where are you at again, Sean? Uh, that. Ray's relic, Brandon Lau, by the way, is how he pronounces it. John McCall with the Rays. Yeah, I don't think I don't think California's really crossed that that bridge yet. At least for for primary and high school and stuff like that. Georgia, that's right. That's right, Mike Tower. We did do the virtual card con with SportsCardInvestor.com. Shout out to them. Thanks for uh, inviting us and. Doing that, it's pretty good. We did that on uh, last Saturday. It was a lot of fun, actually. The quick little mixer. They shouted us out. We shouted them out. They seem like a pretty good organization, especially if you're into the sort of financial finance side of this, the investing side of this. A lot, they've got a lot of interesting things they talk about. It's for if you want to take it to the next level, if you're sharpen up your collecting there. There's David Ortiz relic for West and the Red Sox. C-Shep here in Florida, business as usual, yeah. 
business as normal. That's part of the problem. I mean, I get it. I wish I could do the same things that I did pre-pandemic, but I also want this to be done with sooner rather than later. And I don't feel like dying. <laughs> That's not my thing. Not right now. We got Albert Pujols variation. Oh, hang in there, C Chef. Cardinals, or uh, sorry, that's Angels edition. That that is for uh, Jason Fractor with the Albert Pujols, and there's another Luis Robert rookie card. None of those big variations yet, but we still have a few boxes to go. We've got this stack, two more boxes. And then we're done. We'll go through about 40 orders after this, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what else we're going to get into, what else we're going to set up. We got a almost missed that the autograph blended in there too nicely against the blue Blue Jays Lourdes Gurriel Jr. autograph for T J Poyer won that spot in one of our prism boxes and uh, got randomized the Blue Jays that's to one ninety nine. All right, silver packs. Danny Mendick to 199 for the White Sox. Uh, have I ever seen the show? No, I have not, Mike Tower. Is it any good? Uh, yes, Cameron, depending on availability, we do uh, we open all sports. Football, baseball, soccer, auto racing, wrestling sometimes, UFC. We don't do uh, Australian League's football, though, I'm afraid. We do the other kind of football. Sean Mercer in Georgia, in a very rural area with only 500, only 500 in your entire high school, 8th to 12th? I had like 700 in my graduating class. Wow, that is small. We have several things in place, health and social distancing. Oh, and 100 students attending virtually. That's good. Oh, yeah, weren't you saying that there, there were, like, options, right? Like, you can opt in or out. If you opt in, you can still opt out. But if you opt in to going physically, you got to be there for at least a semester. Brandon Lau, autograph for the Rays, John McCall, 25. That's not a bad, yeah. With with smaller location, that's got to be all right. I don't know with California, especially in the L.A. area, Southern California area, where classroom like size, classroom size have been big anyway. But yeah, four hundred is manageable. That's that's pretty nice. For us out here, though, yeah, it gets a little difficult. And then virtual is tough too, because in some of the, some of the lower income areas, you know, do they have the the technological resources they need to, to go virtually? That's an issue around here. So it's 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 tricky. 
especially in the LA Unified School District, which is kind of a kind of a mess. <laughs> Sheldon Nusi, variation for the A's. That's for Michael. I might need another pack of top loaders here. Maze here. All right, so they have clips from. So who, who are these guys? Huh. So there's a show called Mike Tower saying there's a show called This Week in Breaks, and we're in the top. We're number five in the top ten this week, with a clip of us pulling that triple auto. Why are we only in the top five for that triple auto, Mike Tower? That's crazy. There was another hit that week better than that? You only done three luminaries, Jeff? Hmm? Oh, there's more luminaries down there? Let's see, but I think this... Yeah, he also got into this one, too. David uh, Ortiz. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think there was another one, too. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a look. But yeah, they're, they're down there. He said he missed out on the auto trial, but I'm like, dude, you got another one. Yeah. Well, the, the book was pretty nice. Yeah. I don't blame them for... For being down on that, but yeah, he's got a lot of other good stuff. So he got, well, he got the other one of one. So there you go, it evens out. Um, I think we might have one more case after that, Sam Rail after uh, Luminaries Eight. Oh, there's a plate. Nice, Eddie Rosario. I like him. He's pretty cool. And you have, you have all the luminaries. Do you have luminaries on your side too? Yeah, I have another case. I just sold out of one though. Okay. So I have one more. Twelve, eleven more boxes actually. But that's all on your side, right? Mm -hmm. So then yeah, everything yeah. in the back is for me? Um, well, I gotta take one more, but yeah, there's another case for you over there too. I think we have one more case. Got it. I'm gonna have one more box. After that. Eddie Rosario, one of one printing plate for the twins. Zach T. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Yeah, I don't mind those plates. Plates are pretty cool. Mike Tower, you gotta you gotta ask them yeah, why. One more case back there for you. Okay, awesome, thank you. We, Mike Tower, you you gotta go and ask them why uh, why that triple auto to five was only number five on a list of ten, unless they're in no particular order. But if they're actually ranking them, I mean, another Mike Trout relic for the Angels, Jason Fractor. Yeah, technology an issue for your area, right, Mercer? If it was an issue, we'd go completely virtual. What? Three to five? That's crazy. We have add two zeros to that, and that's our that's our up and down speed. Although we pay up for it for the live streaming. Oh, the, they the, they rank by potential dollar amount. Eh, all right, fair enough. All right, if that's the case, that's understandable then. I guess I, I guess that makes sense. Otherwise, it would just be arbitrary, right? So it's like, I just like this one better, so it's number one. Yeah, there's a whole uh, there's a great emerging cottage industry surrounding. The hobby, ladies and gentlemen, you know, group breaking being one of them, and then everything that that helps group breakers, right? Um, checklist sites, you know, other other like content you can generate with rankings and best hits of the week. Sportscardinvestor.com has their whole thing, you know, coming in from a finance investing angle. So it's pretty wild. And I think as, as all of this industry grows, I would think that there would just be better quality in the future, you know? You go back six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, you know, this was just a wild west. I mean, you wouldn't be able to 
It was so primitive if you look at stuff back in back in the day. You know, you'd be like, is this guy a scammer? I mean, this guy's from his basement, you know, from his kitchen table. What's going on here? But now it's so, uh, it's a lot more polished now. And I think there are a lot more trustworthy people have emerged. You know, there's still some shady folks out there, but for the most part, they'll get found out and outed pretty quickly. Yeah, I think what we should do too is just let him show oh. his uh, license and then he can see this. And it'll be signed for a while. There's a Byron Buxton Twins. There you go. Uh, that'll be for Minnesota. That's going to go to Zach T. There's Strasburg to 69. Nice. Man, there's a couple great cards right here. Hang on a second. We got Luis Robert. In this uh, insert, which I don't know the name of the insert, but it looks pretty cool. The speckle sparkle in the background. Then we've got Kyle Lewis in that mid-80s design right there. He's been raking. For the Mariners, Tony Barkey has the M's. And there's the Strasburg to 69. Seashed, do you think Topps ever gets back into football? Uh, I, I think they want to get back into football. I think, I, th I think from some of the tops, like, execs that I've talked to at various conferences and stuff, they're like, yeah, we'd love to get football back. But will they get it back? I don't know. I think they'll uh, – I think Panini probably has, like, another – seven to ten year exclusive license on in the first place. So oh, nice. Three nothing dog. Oh I mean competition is good, but then talk to the leagues about that because the, the leagues and the players association have have allowed these exclusive things to, to happen. From the league perspective, I get it. You know, if you're if you're the ML MLBPA, right? MLB Players Association. Do you want to deal with Tops, Upper Deck, Panini? You know, a bunch of other companies to deal with. Hey, Justin Verlander, sign my cards for this company, that company, this company. All the paying is different. We pay you differently. Panini pay you differently from Tops. We'll pay you differently from that. Then they have commitments. Justin Verlander, come out to the Panini event. Justin Verlander, come out to the Tops event. Justin Verlander, come out to the Upper Deck event. Here's our last box coming up. So from the league perspective, I get it. You'd want to consolidate all in, all under one house. For us, though, yeah. I mean, I kind of miss seeing some Tops football. But the league's... Where like NBA was like, yeah, we'll do we'll do exclusive deals with you, Panini. NFL was like, we'll do an exclusive deal with you. And MLB has such had such a long relationship with Tops is that that I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. So it just kind of fell fell around like that. So like, I think that's kind of where it all falls. So now and then Upper Deck ends up doing hockey exclusively, and they've kind of cornered that market. So. I go back and forth though. It's just like with tops just focusing on baseball. Don't you think baseball products have the quality has been a lot better? In my opinion, I think maybe. Another variation, Edwin Rios. Nice. Good slugger for the Dodgers. I don't know if his glove work is as is as great, so I don't know. But if Universal DH happens, it'll help guys like this. Brian Crouch with my Dodgers.
Yeah, Jet is correct. Players are usually compensated for their uh, their autograph, not necessarily not necessarily just for having a card in the set, or maybe access to relics. Uh, Trevor, this is a manufactured patch, though. Uh, that is Trevor's story for the Rockies. That's going to go to Scott and the Rocks. Here's Johnny Bench. We're almost done, folks. We've just got those two, just those two stacks. And then I'm going to have to take a quick five just to catch my breath after this hour and two almost two hour break here oh I gotta do a recap too and then we'll go through some orders and then we'll see uh, what else we're gonna add to the plate today we do have Sean going uh, late night tonight so there'll certainly be some extended time I know this gobbled up two hours of our day but don't worry Sean will be going on for late night and he will be able to uh, to do more breaks with you Till what, one, two, three in the morning? Uh, who knows? King D, what's up? Oh, nice. There you go, Aiden. Enjoy him. All right, last stack right here. Throughout all the products, Lorel is asking, what's my favorite? My favorite is 2020 Topps Series 2 Baseball. Love this stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't even feel like two hours. Tops does such a great job with their Series 1 and Series 2. They're flagship baseball products. Great designs, excellent photography. They do a great job with this. Good inserts. There's been a return of like non-autoed cards gaining significant value in the secondary market. So there's that. A lot of great stuff here. Nick Barton, uh, Borton saying it'd be cool if the leagues gave out smaller licenses just for two sets. In sports, they don't have an exclusive. Oh, you mean like a let tops have like two football products a year or something like that? Yeah, it'd be nice. Just like the way Panini has like a handful of baseball products. I know they don't have like uh, logos on them, but they're still allowed like a handful. It'd be nice. But right now, football is king in the United States, so I don't think Panini is going to be giving up that. Luis Robert, White Sox. Yeah, I mean, things could change quickly, too. There's nice Joey Votto. Relic for the Reds. Things could change, too. Think upper deck tackles golf, C Shep. I think they're, they're the guys that generally have the golf licenses because they, they have an exclusive to uh, Tiger Woods. So they've done some really nice golf products in the past. I haven't seen anything recently, though, like a standalone golf product. I think it's tough because there aren't, like, traditional, like, rookies, right? It's not like in the 2020, 2021, there's not going to be like, oh, well, wait for that rookie to come up, you know? So I think that makes it a little, a little difficult. So I think that's why you don't see it being like a yearly thing. But yeah, I'd love to see a standalone golf product. Yeah, I guess their pro debut could be their rookie their their rookie year, but I mean, how many I don't know golf that well, but how many people make their pro debut and then they're significantly making strides in the tour? There's really no there's no clear cut like ladder or something like that. You know, like an amateur can get into some kind of open, like a major open, right? And then like just, 
don't know what I, I was going to say rake. That's more of a baseball term. But they could rake in the U.S. Open or something like that, right? But then they may not be a, a proper pro yet. So it gets a little, ooh, redemption? So that gets a little, that gets a little weird, but I don't know. I wish they would do it. They've, they've got the access to those, those golfers, but. All right, we've got a redemption card in here. You are due to receive a 1985 Topps Baseball Autograph Card Gold Parallel, probably out of 50 maybe, of. Oh, you know what? They put the team names on here now. Oh, God, I love that. So is that Los Angeles Dodgers or Los Angeles Angels? W, Walker Bueller. Yep, Walker Bueller, Dodgers. Nice, a little Dodger Joe Mojo going out to Brian Crouch. Nice. Oh, come on, man. They got the team right here. I'm just so used to riding on Redemptions. I got to get used to that. Sorry for marking up your Redemption. Ryan Crouch, but there it is. Nice. Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller and Dustin May. That could be an excellent one two punch for the Dodgers. All right, and finally, the three silver packs that pop out of here. Oh, Walker Bueller had his first career complete game and career high 16 strikeouts. On June 21st, 2019, versus the Rockies. There you go. That was the that was the commercial leading into the return to the game. All right. So nothing. Wait, that's red. That's out of ten. One out of ten. Dennis Eckersley, A's edition. That's going to go to Michael. And there you go, boys and girls. We made it. We did it. Big thanks to everybody who hung out with me the last hour and 50 minutes. We still have this to give away. Don't forget about this. This will be a nice way to end the break and a train whistle as well. Everybody in this break has a shot at it. Recap video in a separate video. This break is too long. The video is too long already. We'll, re we'll recap that in a separate video if that's what you're looking for right now. So let's go back to the main list. There it is. My Jedi power is not working quite right. Uh, George Cobb with the Diamondbacks down to Allen and the Nationals and everybody in between. Let's copy those names. Paste them into a new list right here and new dice roll. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times. Seven times. Name on top after seven. Good luck. One, two, three. The name on top gets the judge. Four, five, Six and seventh and final time. Six and a one, seven. There's seven. Drum roll. I guess you can do your own drum roll at home. That's my drum, I guess. Four, three, two, and TJ Poyer. He had the Mets in this break. He won that spot in a Prism Hobby Box, right? And it gets the Aaron Judge. Got a piece of the All-Star Game Baseball right here. Game used. His on-card autograph. Five out of five from Dynasty Baseball. That is nice. TJ Poyer. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Recap in a separate video. We'll see you for that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.